Vanilla Premier Protein Eggnog Concoction. Let's give it a try. This is like the official first try, so here we go. What's up everyone, it's Scott here, and I'm doing something a little different. I'm in the kitchen. Uh, I, I love eggnog, and if you saw my short, I tested out a new almond milk eggnog. But I wanted to sort of marry the whole bariatric uh, lifestyle with Premier Protein and trying a actual Premier Protein recommended recipe for eggnog. So here I am, I've got all the ingredients, I'm in the kitchen. I'm gonna try to uh, make this. So I don't know, I'm, I'm not much of a cook, I'll be honest with you. So this is something that's not like, do not follow me for cooking inspiration and recipes, but I'm gonna try to make eggnog. So let's, let's dive right in. It calls for three yolks from eggs. I didn't know, I, I mean, it makes sense. There's actual eggs and eggnog, right? No, one and a half cups of uh, vanilla premier protein, which I think I maybe need at least one. It says heavy cream, uh, vanilla extract. It's asking for cinnamon sticks, but I don't have cinnamon sticks, and you don't actually drink them. You just um, use it for to like marinate in it, right? So I'm just going to use a little bit of ground cinnamon and some cloves, which we have, and some stevia, which I that's one of the reasons why I was sort of excited about this recipe is that it calls for stevia, which I'm a big stevia fan if you know me. So um, I'm going to give it a try. So first thing it says, add the egg yolks into a large bowl using an electric mixer. Beat until light and fluffy. So let's see how we can do this. There's one. Okay, three egg yolks. Hi. <laughs> okay. I don't think this is gonna be very good. Three egg yolks. It says mix it up until it's light and fluffy. Put that aside, get a saucepan, add a Premier Protein, which it says uh, one and a half cups, which is basically a whole bottle. Just gonna play a whole bottle. It's vanilla Premier Protein, with its 30 grams of protein. Protein, and now we need some heavy cream. So I'm using just the Good & Gather Heavy Whipping Cream from the store. This is cinnamon, so I don't have cinnamon sticks and it's really just for like marinating in it anyway, so I'm just gonna have a little ground cinnamon, so give it a try. And cloves, it says two whole cloves, which that we happen to have. One, mm, these are so smelly in a good way. Two, some nutmeg. Have the nutmeg. Here it is. It doesn't say how much, so I'm just, you know, adding to taste. Protein, cream, cinnamon cloves, nutmegs into a medium saucepan and heat up. It says stir continuously. Stir continuously until the mixture thickens slightly, usually a few minutes. Do not bring to a boil. All right, well, in true uh, chef form, I'm going to wish you a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year as I'm stirring this uh, mixture. It's still pretty thick, so I'm going to keep stirring it. It's been a good minute or so. Basically, um, I'm doing this because obviously when you're on a bariatric lifestyle, you can't eat a lot of sugar. And I was in shopping in the store looking at eggnog, because I do like eggnog. And everything has got like a ton of added sugar. So the almond milk eggnog is about the best. It only has eight grams of sugar per serving. But I figured why not marry the best of both worlds, add a protein shake plus eggnog flavoring and um, see how it goes. So I think this makes about three servings, I would say. So not quite sure how much it's gonna make, but I'm sure it's gonna be enough for a glass or two. Okay, I'm going to, I'm gonna attempt to put the mixture into the eggs just a little bit at a time. Trying to make sure I don't get it all over the stove. Wife will kill me for that. Oh, too late. Just got it all over the stove. 
There's the other clove. All right, not too bad. We can clean that up. All right, I'm gonna keep mixing this a little bit, and then I'm gonna put a piece of plastic on it and put it in the fridge. And it says when I'm ready to serve, I can add some stevia. Just in case I don't record it, I got some 365 organic stevia from Whole Foods. This is my favorite. It's about $20 for this big old bottle. Stevia is really expensive, but it's really good and makes everything super sweet, which I like. I love sweetness like that. And it doesn't add to the waistline, so one of my favorite things I can eat on my bariatric journey. All right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Christmas Eve morning here in Chicago. So I'm going to check on my Premier Protein eggnog situation I got going on here. So let's see, I got it in the fridge here. It's been chilling overnight. Let's get it back out here. So today for the eggnog, it says I'm gonna to need to stir it and then sweeten it to my liking. It's interesting because the recipe calls for one and a half tablespoons of vanilla extract, but if you read the directions, it doesn't tell you when or where to put them in. So vanilla extract is just a sweetener, so I think that goes in now. Let's grab a spoon. You'll see it's kind of eggnog consistency. Feels pretty thick. I have already had a little teeny tiny taste last night, so I do know I want to add some some sweetener to it. So it just says add three drops of stevia. So and if you've never used stevia before, it's really sweet. So if you're a first time stevia user, I would be very, very lean on how much stevia you put in. It's like 10 times sweeter than sugar but it doesn't have the same like hormonal effect sugar gives on your system. So um, love it or hate it, it's way sweeter. I'm adding a couple more than three drops because these are, it's not a dropper. Sometimes they come in droppers. This is like a bigger bottle, but sometimes they come in droppers. Usually it comes in droppers. Like this is from Trader Joe's and it's got like an actual like medical dropper on it. Right, so that's probably what they mean by three drops, meaning like that full thing. And then it's saying add some liquid vanilla. Let's see if I got a measuring cup somewhere. And this is just the Good and Gather vanilla extract from Target. All right, let's mix her up. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty legit. Definitely looks like eggnog. Let's put it into a little tasting cup here. Add a little nutmeg for garnish. Vanilla Premier Protein Eggnog Concoction. Let's give it a try. This is like the official first try, so here we go. You know, it's not bad, actually. It's better today than what it was last night when I gave it a little try out of the bowl just to see how it was. So um, the sweetener definitely helped. The vanilla extract, I can definitely feel that. It could probably use a little bit more stevia for me because my tolerance for stevia is much higher than probably most people. But but uh, otherwise, I like it. I might, I'm going to probably drink this. I hope you get a chance to enjoy some, enjoy some uh, Premier Protein Holiday Eggnog on your holidays. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I want you to like and subscribe because I got some more Premier Protein videos coming up. If you are on a bariatric lifestyle and you are stuck drinking some protein shakes like me, let's have fun with it. I'm not going to cook anything, but I'm going to do some more uh, Premier videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful holiday. And uh, stay tuned for more inspirational videos on how you can live an amazing lifestyle with this miracle surgery, a.k.a. bariatric surgery. So that's it. Bye for now.